Live from East Lansing, Michigan, ABC Sports College Football, in association with the Big Ten Conference, present the inaugural Land Grant Trophy game between Penn State and Michigan State. Penn State and Michigan State, each with two losses in conference play. The winner of today's game will have a leg up on second place. Live from Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan, Mark Jones along with Tim Brent. Look at the weather. 28 degrees and 13 down on the field. And speak One of the great traditions of Big Ten football is to play for perennial trophies. We've got Floyd of Roy's Rosedale. You've got the Paul Bunyan Trophy. The newest trophy in the series was unveiled last night in a special ceremony at the Kellogg Center. It's called, as you said, the Land Grant Trophy. And it will go to the winner of this game every year. The reason it was called the Land Grant Trophy is both Penn State and Michigan State are Land Grant Universities founded in 1855, only 10 days apart. Footing, wind was at his back, just hit it fat. First down and 10 for the Spartans, the ball at the 30-yard line. Coleman in motion, they hand it off to Steve Holman. Now this is an exciting runner. We'll tell you more about him in a minute. Back to Steve Holman is just a sophomore, and he's really an exciting runner. A big load at 225. Michigan <laughs> State's first first down of the afternoon. First down and 10. The ball at the 42. Outlaw in motion. They hand it off to the man affectionately known as Batman, and he bowls over about four Penn State players and has another first down at the 46. Tackled finally by Tony Pittman. He was the Big Ten Player of the Week. Third down and six. Miller downfield has Coleman. Touchdown, Michigan State. catch of the year but watch him. he's working on Hammonds just takes the inside route he says I'm even I'm leaving got right by him the pass was perfectly thrown and that's why they call him the thrill and the extra point by Stojanovic is why how many times has George Perlis seen that this season another kick going awry Stojanovic is on a roller coaster ride mentally. His confidence is low. He continues to miss. We watched him warm up. He was missing from everywhere. And the roller coaster is going down early here in the game. First down on ABC. What a crew. I sound a little bit like James Brown today. <laughs> hey! And here's Batman, Steve Holman. Down to the 28 yard line before being brought down by Bonna. But a 30 yard pickup. We said he could light it up, and right there he lit up Penn State. Shame on George Perlis for letting this kid breathe down his neck, asking to get in the game. He's a talent. Boy, they open up a big hole for him, and watch Holman go. 225 pounds, but he runs a 4-6-40. High stepping his way into the secondary. Five rushes for a total of 54 yards, and he gets a breather. Big Ten Conference. Miller, play action. Going upstairs. Complete. And it's down to the three yard line. And there's a. There was a lot of contact down that far. Buffing and grinding all the way down. Pass interference on the defense. Decline. First down. All that contact was fine. But he never looked back for the ball. Had he looked back here, he has as much right as Coleman does. Forbes never did. Pass interference. Look at his head. Look at his head on this, Mark. He never looked back for the football. And what concentration by Coleman to make the catch. They hand it off. Touchdown, Batman. Look at the offensive line surge. Look at the hole open up. And then a great cut to the outside by Holman. For four on that impressive drive. Miller hands it off to Holman. He's been pretty unstoppable so far this afternoon. That time picked up about four yards, brought down by Rob Holmberg. And Miller's starting to heat up as well. He's five for nine, 97 yards. He's hit his last four, including the touchdown. Holmberg, 
Ullman out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Big load, moves his feet well too, 225 pounds. Seven rushes for a total of 62 yards. And the nose of the ball is on Penn State side of the field. Second and five. Holman breaking tackles again. Look at him carry the pile down to the 43-yard line. Michigan State, all right, Jack, pretty focused for this game. Holman weaving, going around, over, and under Penn State tacklers. Finally brought down by Lee Rubin, but not after a pickup of 12 yards. You know, you really can feel what Jack's talking about. The momentum really belongs to Michigan State, even off of that touchdown. I mean, look at this. Holman's running with authority, but the offensive line right now is dominating. Look at Monahan, 36. He's blocked back 10 yards. Watch the offensive line fire out, lock on, and then push back. Watch the hole open up. Look at the size of that hole. It's a great job by Hannah Cronin, Birchmeyer, Lorius, and DeMarco. Ball at the 14-yard line with nine minutes to play in the first half. The Lions get back. The center didn't snap the ball. A draw play to Holman. How many people does it take to bring Steve Holman down? We'll answer. Second down and two. Touchdown, Holman. Just give him the ball and get out of the way. He's doing a heck of a job, but this offensive line giving him holes that almost anybody could go through. The give on first down goes right up the middle. That's Holman again. And he picked up about six yards. Again, Tim, that offensive line firing off the ball. Holman already with 105 yards rushing with four and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Going up against the conference number one rushing defense. Bryce Adams, the up back out of the eye. is close to the first down marker on second down. Brought down by Brian Gelsheiser. That ranks right up there with George Perlis' 86 club. Perlis with two Big Ten titles under his belt. And Holman may get him a couple more in the future. Holman has the first down at the 37-yard line. Brought down again by Gelsheiser. But Holman is down on the field. Penn State, on the average, allows 107 yards rushing a game. Holman has 114 already. That paints the picture for you. The number's not lying today. Wisconsin, apparently, employing a sleeping coach to get acclimated to Japan.